Last class we have discussed about the problems on the simple pendulum, right? So now in this class we are going to discuss about the same chapter that is motion and time of class 7 physics. So in, uh, in my last class we discussed the problems on the simple pendulum. Now in this class we are going to discuss about the what is the speed and average speed that we are going to discuss here in this class. Right? So first thing speed and average speed. So what do you mean by speed and average speed? Right? So you have seen the vehicles are roaming outside. So you will see that some vehicles will move fast and some vehicles will move slow. Right? So depending on how you, you feel that if vehicle moves very fast nearby you, you will tell that that is moving a very speed. If vehicle is moving slow in front of you or behind you, you, you are going to tell that that vehicle is moving slow. Right? That is, that is what that thing we are going to discuss here. So first thing, what is speed? So first we are going to define the term speed. So speed means what? The distance travelled by an object in unit time or the distance covered by an object per unit time. We call it as a speed. Right? So first the definition of speed is what? The distance travelled by an object in unit time or per unit time. Both are same. The distance covered or a distance travelled by an object per unit time we call it as a speed. So speed is equal to what a distance travelled by in unit time or as per unit time. So time taken. Speed is equal to what? Distance travelled divided by time taken. This is the formula for the speed. So that speed we usually denote by the term V. So speed we are going to denote it by the term V. Whatever the distance travelled or as covered by the term, that term we denote it by the S and the time taken that how much the, the object is moving from here to there how much time it will take that time we are going to denote by the small letter t so that is what speed is equal speed is formula is what v is equal to s by t right this is what the speed so we can write like a speed v is equal to v by t what d is also distance we may denote s or else we may denote d both are same right don't confuse the body that is what speed is equal to s by t or else speed is equal to v by t so this is the formula for the speed so speed means for the distance covered by object per unit time or the distance covered by an object per unit time that is we call it as a speed so next thing unit of speed so if we are going we will see that that uh, object is that uh, the vehicle is going very fast so how we are going to tell so that has some specific unit so that we are going to study here so what unit of time? The unit of speed. So speed is equal to, we know that what a speed is equal to what? A distance travelled to the time taken, right? Speed is equal to what? Distance by time. So we know that we always measure the distance in terms of meter or centimeter, kilometer, right? So but the SI unit of distance is what? Meter. The SI unit of distance is meter. So that's why the distance we are going to measure in terms of meter. Time, we are going to measure time in terms of hours, minutes, seconds. But the SI unit of time is what? Second. So that's why, so here we are, we are writing the SI unit of speed, right? So the SI unit of speed, first we are writing, right? So the time we are going to measure in terms of second. So that's why the SI unit of speed is what? Meter per second. So you may write, this is also correct, meter per second, this thing also is correct. You may write like this also, this is also correct per second, right? So see here once again how the unit of speed will be come, right? How we are going to see. So speed is equal to what? Distance travelled to the time taken. So we all, we always measure the distance in terms of meter and the time we are going to measure in terms of second, right? So the meter by second. So therefore the SI of speed is what? Meter per second. So the other units of speed we are going to see here, right? So here, unit of distance, so here uh, how we are going to measure distance, that distance we have made a column and the unit of time, how we are going to measure that also we have made column and the unit of speed, so total the unit of speed, right? So first thing, so distance, distance we are going to measure in terms of centimeter also, right? So in centimeter, then the time we are going to measure in terms of mid second right so the unit of the speed is what now centimeter per second how means water so speed is equal to what distance by time sorry speed is equal to what s by t so here 
what is the, the distance is what a centimeter so cm time is in, in terms of second so that's why centimeter per second so this is the si unit this is the another unit of speed so if the distance we are going to measure in terms of centimeter then the time we are going to measure in terms of second then the unit of the speed is what centimeter per second so this centimeter per second so next thing meter so we are going to measure the distance in terms of meter and time in terms of minutes then the unit of speed is what meter per minute so how means again you substitute in this formula so distance is water meter so time we are going to measure in terms of water minute right so that's why what the the unit will be meter per minute right so like this you have to measure the different units of speed so now the third term is what kilometer so the distance we are going to measure in terms of kilometer also na then the unit we are unit of time we are going to measure in terms of meter also uh, sorry hours so that's why now the unit of speed is what kilometer per hour right again substitute here so what happens when you substitute here so here kilometer it is kilometer so hour is next so therefore the unit will be kilometer per hour so these are the various are the different types of units of the speed centimeter per second meter per minute meter per second and kilometer per hour so these are the different units of the speed so but the si unit of speed is what meter per second that thing you have to remember so see here this the speeds of a fast moving bodies are generally expressed in terms of kilometer per hour so if the vehicle is moving very fast then the speed is we express in terms of what kilometer per hour so you have seen in your vehicles uh, speedometer that what this the speedometer will show the needle that deflect when you uh, when you increase the accelerator then what happen the speed will increase then the needle will increase 40 km per hour 30 km per hour 50 km per hour that's why the speed of a fast moving body is generally expressed in terms of what kilometer per hour right so next thing the speed of a slow moving body is means very slow moving body is so that we are going to expect in terms of centimeter per second or a meter per minute right Uh, you have seen the turtle that will move very slowly. So that distance we are going to measure in terms of centimeter per second, or else meter per minute, right? So fast moving uh, objects always be measured in terms of what? Uh, in terms of kilometer per hour, and the slow moving bodies we measure the speed in terms of centimeter per second, or else meter per minute. Concept is what? average speed so now we have discussed about the speed so next the concept is what average speed so you know that sometimes we are going while we are in journey sometimes we move our vehicles very fast and sometimes we move our vehicles slow right so then we are unable to get the what is the speed of that uh, vehicle that what is the average speed of that vehicle we to reach that from here to, from our place to another place right so that's why we we use the average term average speed right so uh, so here the average speed means what the total distance covered by object to the total time taken so it means how much distance we have covered from here to, to reach another place our destination so how much time taken to reach that destination with the help of that uh, time and distance we are going to get the average speed right so the average speed for formula is what the total distance covered to the total time taken so but here the speed unit is same what meter per second only right the unit of the speed is what meter per second only it is not differ from the speed the average speed also has the same unit as that of the meter per second right so in various forms it has the various units of, uh, right so here the average speed is what total distance covered to the total time taken so this is the average speed formula so now the various forms of the relationship so with the help of speed we are going to get the various forms right so that is so first we know that speed is equal to what distance by time that is what b is equal to s by t right so if you want to calculate the distance then what you will do distance traveled you have to cross multiply this 
then the distance travelled is equal to what? P V two time, right? Therefore, it will be ready as is equal to what? V into T. So this is another form of the speed, right? So if you want to calculate the time, then the time taken is equal to the multiplier, cross multiplier time will come here, and speed will come to the denominator. Then the time taken is equal to what? Distance travelled by into the speed. So R T is equal to S by V. So these are the various forms of the speed. So with the help of these various forms, we are going to calculate the speed, distance, time. Right? If they are one, the two known quantity, then the third unknown quantity we can very easily find. Right? So by the help of these formula, we are going to calculate the sum of the problems. We are going to do the sum of the sums where what they are given in our test books. So examples based on the speed problem. Right. So a car is travelling. A, a car is travels 88 kilometer distance in 1.5 hour. So calculate its speed. So first thing here what they have given. First thing you have to write there. So first thing what they have given. A car is travelling 88 kilometer distance. So it means what they have given. Distance they have given. Distance travelled. So distance. Traveled how much? 88 kilometer, right? So again, they have given in 1.5 hours. So it means what a time they have given. So time, how much they have given? 1.5 hour, right? So we have the formula to calculate what they have told. They told to calculate speed, right? So we have formula speed is equal to, right? Distance. Travel to the time taken. Right, this is the formula. So what they have given? So here 88 km distance they have given and time over they have given 1.5 hours they have given. So we are unable to divide this 88 by 1.5. So before going to divide, you multiply both numerator and denominator with time. Multiply both numerator and multiply both numerator and denominator by 10. So then how much will you get? 880 by 15. Right? So now you divide this 880 by 15. So see here 880 by 15. Right? So first this to this. So 15, 5 the 75. Right? So 8 minus 5 is 3. 8 minus 7 1. So bring this 0 here. It will become 130. Right? 15, 8 the 120. So 130 minus 120. 10 will be there. Right? So now 10 is very less than 15. So put a decimal point here. Then right here 0. Then it will become 100. Then now 15 6 is 90, then 100 minus 90, this will be 10, then again right, right 0 again, same thing, 6 is 90, then 10 will be, this will be continuous form. So the value of value is how much? 58.66, right? So the speed will be 58.66 kilometer. Per hour, why kilometer per hour? So here yeah, this is they only one kilometer and the time they are given in terms of hour. So the unit is what? Kilometer per hour. So the speed is equal to 58.66 kilometer per hour. So I will repeat this problem. A car travels 88 kilometer distance in 1.5 hour. So I can get this speed. So first thing we are going to Write down, write down the what are the givens in the problem. So first, they, what they are given? Distance they are given. A car is traveling a distance. That is distance traveled is how much? 88 km. Then time they are given. That is how much? 1.5 hour. They don't calculate the speed. So speed is equal to we have formula. Distance traveled by the time taken. So distance is how much? 88. Time is how much? <coughs> 1.5 hour. So now 
we are unable to divide this. This will be very complicated to you. That's why multiply both numerator and denominator by 10. Then you will get how much? 88 into 10, 80. Then 1.5 into 10, it will become 15. Now divide this 880 8, with 15, you will get 58.66 km per hour. Okay, second problem. A boy riding a bicycle covers a distance of 10 meter in 4 seconds. So here, what is the speed of the boy? So first, you clearly read the question, whatever they are given, then you will understand the problem, what you, have, what you need to calculate in this problem. So first, what, are, what they are given, a boy is riding a bicycle, right? He covers a distance of 10 meter in 4 seconds. So what, so first thing, whatever they are given, that thing we are going to write here. So what, the distance they are given, distance travel. How much they are given? 10 meter, right? That thing I have done. And time also they are given, that is what? 4 seconds. So the time is what? 4 seconds. So they told what is the speed of the boy. So speed we need to calculate, right? So we have the formula speed is equal to distance traveled to the time taken. So here first thing distance how much they are given? 10 meters. Time how much? 4 seconds. Right? So now we divide this 2 2 is a 2 5 is a then it will be 2.5 right? 2 1 is a 2 2 is a then 1 will be there it is 2 5 is a 10 so the 2.5 meter per second is the speed of that ball. So speed is equal to how much? Speed of the ball is 2.5 meter per second. So once again I will put this problem. Distance travelled is 10 meter. Time they were given 4 seconds. We need to, to calculate speed of that ball. So speed is equal to distance travelled to the time taken. So distance how much they go on 10 and the time how much they go on 4 seconds. Now divide this you will get 2.5 meter per second. So the speed of the boy is 2.5 meter per second. So but here they have given time in terms of seconds. If time they have given in terms of minutes then how what will be the speed of that boy? So now again we will do the speed of the speed of the boy is equal to what? 10 divided by 4 so 4 in terms of second is if you want to convert that in terms of minutes what you will do you will divide it with 60 second then it will become in terms of minute right so this is in place of denominator if it comes upward or in the upward then it becomes multiplication 10 into 60 divided by 4 Right? Then this is 4 1s are 4 1s are 4, then 2 20 will become 4 5s are. Right? That is 4 1s are 4, 4 15s are 60. Then 10 into 50, this is what? 150 meter. 150 meter per minute. So this is the speed of the ball. So in terms of meter per minute also we have calculated, in terms of meter per second also we have calculated the speed of the ball. Right? So uh, to calculate the speed we require the, any two quantities of the formula. If we know the distance, we, if we know the time, then we are going to cal we are going to calculate uh, very easily we are going to calculate the speed of the any object. Right? I hope this is clear to you. In the next class we will discuss about the next concept of this lesson. Thank you, have a nice day.